Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to take off the spark plug wire heat tubes on the Dodge Ram V8 Magnum. We looked all over YouTube and we could not figure out how to take these heat shields off, but we already we're getting uh, this engine all cleaned up for our SEMA build. And as you can see here, I already removed two of them and we already got the timing chain cover off over here. So I'm going to show you what tools you need to get take these off, which really isn't all that hard. They're just a little bit tedious, as you can see, but we're, we're cleaning this all up. But if you're new to the channel, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Let me get some tools set up, and we'll go over what we'll use, and I'm going to get you guys all set up on the tripod. So I'll see you here in a minute. Some of the things you'll need for uh, taking these heat tubes off is your, your ratchet and your socket for your uh, spark plugs. I'm using a ball peen hammer and a small punch. Set of channel locks and some PB blaster. And what the PB blaster is for, a couple hours ago I sprayed around the tubes a little bit and let it sit which now I'll have to go over this and degrease it all again but as you can see here we already did these so after you spray your your tubes just a little bit around there and give it a few hours to soak in there if you like if not you could just go right to town on it but what I like to do is take out the spark plug And I'll show you what these spark plugs look like. I haven't changed them in quite some time. Because as, if you're following the channel, you'll know that we are restoring this uh, second gen RAM into a, C, a SEMA build project truck. So I kind of let it go there for a while. I was mudding it. But here's the, the spark plugs. And I'll just keep this, put this off to the side. And then all you've got to do is just get your ball peen hammer. Well, what I'll do first is, as you can see, the there's a seam there. Is And that seam goes inside. As you're putting these in, the seam closes. So I'll just get my punch and my hammer. And I'll just knock this uh, seam in a little bit. Right there. And I'll, I'll go around in two sections. And that's just two on. Uh, to free the seam up a little bit right there give it a little bit more give and then what I'll do is just tap the, the heat shield this one might be a little bit more finicky just keep going around it and you'll see it loosening up in there and then get your channel locks and you want to work this all back and forth in there on the top and the bottom I like to do both sides and of course this one's going to be giving us a problem and I'll just grab the seam once you rock it around a little bit tap it some more Now I've already done it on the other side and the back ones seem to be the worst. But as you can see, this is starting to move a little bit. If you have to just get your punch to break it free from the, the head. Because there is some built up in there. And as you can see, it's starting to loosen up. And what you want to do is just keep working it around. They are a little bit tough in there.
but you just want to keep going back and forth. And it is coming up. And that's all that's to getting these tubes off. They're not threaded on there. I know some vehicles, they may thread on there. But the, the magnums, they're just pressed in there. And then once I get uh, these tubes out, I'll get my shop back. Now this might get a little bit loud because there's going to be a lot of gunk in there. Once I get it all cleaned out, I'll put my spark plug back in there. So this way no other uh, debris gets in the combustion chamber. But in, like here's some of the uh, easier ones that came out, as you can see here. These are easier, or these came out a little bit easier. And this one I had was my first one that I did. And this one gave me a little bit of problem getting out. But as you can, let me find a good one. Here's a good one. But here's the, the seam that's, that's ran down the heat shields. So I just try and pinch this over and knock this one in there a little bit to free this up. But as you can see, there's years of built up and rust in here that bonded these together. Well, I got one more to do. And then the engine's heat shields are for the spark plug, spark plug wires are all off. And then we're moving on to the next step of this. We're going to get it cleaned up some more. But we're definitely doing some mods. I'm not putting the... The stock manifolds back on and we're going to do a few other things to get this back in the truck but if you're new to the channel hit that like comment and subscribe button so till next time i'm joe driving trucks and hunting bucks is how i roll it wicked fabs <laughs>